PISA and uh, the PISA-based test for schools, whether you get PISA results for, for a school system or for an individual school, it's all about, and it starts with the, with the data. It's about looking at the data, how are your students doing in the subjects, uh, what data can we see about the contextual factors that shape learning in your schools or in your school system. Um, and, and that's where it starts, that's where the comparison starts, that's where we can start to see how your school is doing, how others are doing, but it builds from there and, and, and then it becomes more than just data. And what we see happening with the, with the PISA when we're looking at school systems is that you start with the data, you get interested in what is happening in other school systems, in the most successful ones, and then you start actually going there, and then you start looking at, but what is it that they're doing? What can we learn from these school systems? Exactly the same is happening with the PISA-based test for schools. Schools first get their data, they look at their report, how are we doing? Uh, they look at the charts, this is where we are, this is where schools in our own country are, this is where schools in other countries are, how do we compare with them? That takes a while to digest all the data, but the next step always is then to start reaching out to some of those schools. What is it that those, where are those schools? What is it that those schools are, are doing? And that's where the real uh, learning begins. So it's always like different phases. You start with the data, then you reach out, and that's when the, when the learning really begins. Many schools today, they already know how they are uh, comparing against uh, local standards or even against national standards. They know how they're doing in terms of, of, of other schools in their own country, whether they're average or whether they're among the best schools in the country. But few schools actually know how they're doing against uh, international standards. They may have a feeling from you know, what they have learned about how the country is doing on the PISA compared to other countries, but how their own school is doing compared to schools in other countries or compared to school systems in other countries. Many schools, they, have, they, they don't really know that. And that's part of what the PISA-based test for schools is doing. And that's often the first step in the PISA-based test for schools uh, experience is just to find out where is our school doing compared to international standards? Where do we want our students uh, and where do we want our school to be doing against uh, international standards? So what we see when we uh, look at the, um, at the PISA data is that uh, obviously there are differences between countries, uh, between school systems, but we also see that there are uh, differences uh, between schools and that uh, even within countries and that um, often uh, schools in advantaged uh, areas with favorable student intakes, they also do better than uh, other schools. That's what we would expect. But we also see that some schools despite maybe having an unfavorable uh, student intake, tend to do uh, relatively uh, well. So there is a lot that schools can do beyond just what would be expected from them, beyond their, 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 the student intake. There are a lot of processes going on within some schools that other schools uh, can, uh, can learn from.